Hello, my name's Carl and welcome to the Straw Bite Workshop. Today we start a short series where I'll be putting together this, which is my new Inventables X-Carve CNC and that's all coming up. So just after Christmas I bought the 1000mm X-Car from Robo Savvy. Um, one of the th key differences between um, the unit that you buy in the UK and the one that you get in the US will be the spoil board. Um, due to shipping costs from the US it's just not economical for them to be made there with the Inventables screen printing on. So in the UK uh, Robo Savvy uh, have spoil boards made to the same specification, more or less, and they ship those out to UK customers. But I thought it would be worth just looking at the assembly of the spoil board because there are just one or two small differences in the Robo Savvy spoil board versus the one shown in the instructions on the Inventables website. So, on some CNCs, the spoil board is just a piece of MDF. There's nothing particularly fancy about it. But on the X carve, what's great is that you've got 144 holes into which you can put um, their clamping system. Uh, this is an integral part of the structure of the CNC itself. Now, as I said, the US version has a screen printed top and uh, this comes plain, but it has all the screw holes pre-drilled. However, one of the key differences is, is that we have to insert from the back, now this is the back side, some threaded inserts into all 144 holes. Now, the instructions show that on the uh, Inventables version, there are count 144 countersinked holes uh, that you access from the back. And on this particular uh, board, uh, the holes aren't countersinked. Now I know from putting threaded inserts into my workbench uh, that uh, countersinking them is going to save a great deal of time and frustration and probably my fingers as well. So first step will be to countersink 144 holes then come back and install the uh, 144 threaded inserts. It's going to take a little bit of a while but um, we'll see how we get on. If you're not a subscriber to the channel then do click on the subscribe button and the bell icon for a notification of upcoming videos. So I'll start by needing these. Okay, so you could be asking why I'm building this in the house this morning. Um, I have cleared the space in the workshop and had everything set up last night to build it there. But even though it's the beginning of May, it was three or four degrees outside and the workshop is just too cold. Most of the assembly, certainly in the instructions uh, for the, the bulk of the initial part of the build, is just really putting sub-assemblies like the baseboard together. So we've got the baseboard, uh, the gantries, um, and the side rails, and so on. So uh, aside from having to make lots of um, countersinks in the top of this this morning, there's really going to be no mess. So I think I'll get away with it inside the house. Uh, we'll see, uh, just don't tell.
Okay, so uh, this is uh, now complete. I've tightened all the screws up and it's all nice and rigid and square. I can flip this over and this becomes a work table for the rest of the build. Now, there's probably going to be two or three videos in the build. I'm not sure what format they're going to take, um, but I'll try and highlight some of the maybe more challenging parts of the build for me and share some of that experience with you guys. That's it. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Uh, thumbs down appears to work quite nicely if you didn't. Uh, if you're not a subscriber of my channel, then click on the subscribe and the bell icon if you want to be notified of upcoming videos. But for now, from the workshop, or in this case, my lounge, cheerio.